I'm Andrew McPherson uh, here at the F18 North Americans in Wisconsin in Racine. Is this, do you say it Racine or Racine? Racine. Yeah, Racine. good. And uh, today wasn't exactly an exciting day on the water. We didn't actually go out. But we're here right now with the new NACRA 20, not the complete boat, but the one hull. So uh, we only had, uh, we have a complete platform here in the US at the moment, but we don't have uh, the rest of it here yet. So we thought we'd come and bring this one and show everybody all the bits. Uh, so the boat essentially is uh, 20 foot long. Uh, it's all carbon and epoxy, so uh, it's built in, uh, in our new factory. Uh, we went with this pro grip stuff like a Hobie Cat has, which is, um, which is really good actually. We've been quite happy with that stuff. Um, the hull design was done by uh, Pete and, uh, and Gino at Morelli in Melbourne. Um, they did a really nice job. It looks a lot like the Oracle hull from the Trimaran actually, so there's a little bit of uh, shared technology with that one. We have the curved dagger boards in it, which uh, makes a pretty big difference to the way the boat behaves. Um, it's been really nice to sail it. The first few sails on it were a big learning experience for everybody, and uh, we had a few swims due to that, but it was uh, it's really good, really good. Uh, the whole boat weighs I think about 160 kilos whatever that is in pounds uh, the hull weights 35 kilos you can if you ever get a chance to pick one of these things up it's pretty impressive how light it is and it's all super stiff so it's it's really nice boat to sail hopefully uh, we can do a video soon with a complete boat <laughs> tell us tell us how many down sailing downwind how yeah okay so uh, actually I, sh I don't have a dagger board here it's in the trailer but uh, normally on, the, say on an F-18 we lift the dagger board about this much downwind and on this boat we lift it about half as much but because it's the curved dagger board that makes quite a big difference if you think, look at my hand, if you bring it up just a little bit the amount of horizontal in the water changes quite dramatically. So if you end up going downwind in say 12 knots or trapezing conditions with the board completely down, you actually have too much lift from the board and the boat starts to come out of the water which is really good fun, but it's not so fast to be a VMG. Um, so what we found, the best thing is just lift them up about this much and then, uh, and then the boat really settles down, but it still gets enough uh, lift from the foil to sort of, I call it semi-foiling. There's this, there's, there's a big area of development these days, I think, that, that can be had in this, in this area where the boat's not foil-borne, but it's foil-assisted. And this boat really behaves well and, and performs exceptionally uh, well in, uh, in that mode. So we try to keep the boat going in that, in that groove all the time. And when you get it going, when you've got the board up this much and you're trapezing, the boat feels kind of weird. It never wants to nosedive. The boat's very stable fore and aft. And the steering becomes almost hypersensitive because the boat's really sitting on the foil and the rudder and just a little bit of hull just for, for stability, and that's basically it. So it's really nice. So, what's it feel like going upwind? Upwind, it's, it's a lot like a, a, a normal uh, multi hull. It doesn't do anything radically different upwind, but you can feel that when you're in a, in a low groove, so when you've got the bow down and you're going fast, you do definitely feel the foil pushing the leeward hull upwards. So the boat never gets that feeling that, that the more you heel, the more the hull's going in. The more you heel, the more the boat pushes back against it. So it sort of balances itself out. And you notice quite strangely that when you look at the off the transom, on the normal cataran you have like that little stern wave coming off after the rudder. And on this one, you don't have the stern wave, it's just the water's going clean off the transom.